everyone, welcome back to the channel, Andy here. Today, we are going to take a look at the event, guys, because I want to applaud. First of all, as a player, I want to applaud Lilith for this event today, all right? That's why I'm making this video, because I think it's tremendous. I think it's actually a pretty cool event going on right now, the Diamond Spender and double purchase event so let's take, uh, take a look at this real quick i want to break down these heroes for you guys if you're thinking about making these purchases let's break it down and let's see if it's worth it or not personally you will see what i do with it and then you guys can kind of uh do your own thing and you know judge for yourself all right uh so they always do double purchase events throughout the week anyways volko is a beast guys volko is really really useful right now so he's definitely worth it i mean even if you don't have Volko right now, if you are spending 20 plus another 50, like 70 bucks to get Volko and you're going to get Morphir, that's actually actually worth it because I'm pretty sure everybody that has Volko by now has already spent a lot more than that. So purchase wise, it's not a bad uh, deal right now, but this is not even why I'm making this video guys, not about the double purchase event. We're taking a look at the Diamond Spender. What a great idea. I mean, this is terrific. Finally, this is a really good event, guys. Uh, if you're watching this, Lilith, I'm a home girl. Call me. I miss you. But uh, this is a good event right here, man. The running Diamond Spender with double purchase event. I hope they uh, kind of get the idea that players... These are the kind of uh, events that we kind of want. You know, if we're going to be able to spend some money doing things, running a Diamond Spender with it is a good idea. We love that. And uh, these are some good prizes, finally. You know, we hate getting prizes like crap. You know, give us some good prizes. Getting Celeste, who is not a free-to-play hero right now, you know, mind you, he's not released just yet. So, uh, this gives a lot of players a good chance to get him. Even if you are a free-to-play player, I am sure that you have one to three... Well, you're going to need 3,000 gems to spend today. But if you save up enough, you are definitely able to get Celeste with uh, 4,000 gems, I mean. So, you need a total of four... No, 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 I'm right. It's 3,000 gems, guys. So you spend 3,000, you can get 80 pieces of him, and you can summon him, which is a terrific uh, buy. I think it's a great idea. I'm personally debating right now if I'm, what I'm going to do with this event, guys. So that's why I'm debating. I want to take a look at my Celeste. I want to take a look at my Morphir and see what I need. I'm pretty sure my Volko is already 7-starred, so I'm not going to need that. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at these heroes real quick. All right, so first up, we have Celeste here. Now, uh, my Celeste is different, obviously, because I have a skin on him, guys. As you can see, I've equipped it, his Crystal Warrior skin. And we'll go into what that does in just a second right now. So he looks a little bit different. But honestly, I like this look a lot more. And he's also awakened, okay? Don't forget, he's awakened. So he'll look a little bit different if you summon him right now. But with the skin, he's okay. He looks pretty sick, but... I kind of like him without it. So let's see. He's going to need 250 more soul stones for me to 7 star him. And I don't think that's possible through this event. Actually, I think it is possible, but I need to spend 15,000 gems. So I'm not sure if that's worth it right now, guys. Don't think it is. Unless I'm there's something really, really valuable that I want to spend it on. I'm not sure if that's worth it for me right now. All right, guys. So the best way I'm going to show you Celeste is to actually take him into a battle. And you guys can see his abilities in action. And I will be pausing along to walk you guys through all of his abilities. All right. So the first thing that he does is gives everybody a physical crit rating. Or so your whole team is going to get a boost in physical crit rating. Which is actually really, really good. Uh, first ability that he actually does is seeing swinging blade is called dealing damage to a target plus enemies behind him so this is an aoe attack uh this is kind of why you don't see him perform that great in the arena right now because uh most of the uh, enemies runs away from him uh volko morphier batman mira a lot of the heroes are used in the arena right now they jump all around and this ability is swinging one direction and hitting a uh, you know enemies in a in a small radius that are all close together so if you're facing a swarm of enemies this ability is terrific but if they're all over the place it's not as great that's the only catch now if you notice right now he's getting pulled in by shirley and they're all gang banging him in the middle there so boom there he is he's gone now let's pause it right here if you notice aoe damage dealing to everybody and check out the lifesteal that he gets in crazy amounts of lifesteal when he's hitting multiple targets with this it's tremendous it's a really really good ability the next ability that's going to go into right now and let's pause this is pulse hammer now if you don't have the skin on him and the skin is available also in the events but if you don't have the skin on him guys you're going to see storm hammer which is a different ability this right now is pulse hammer uh, it does a couple of different things first of all it will attack your enemy with the highest shield with a shield in general and it's going to reduce the shield's health by 50 percent that's two things that it does 
Also, if you're the enemy does not have a shield, it's going to hit a random enemy with uh, and it's going to reduce their physical armor. Another great thing that it's going to do is it's going to stun everybody. So as you notice here, it stuns everybody that it hits. They all don't have a shield, obviously, but it lowered all their physical armor. So that's it does a bunch of different things. Pulse Hammer is a great ability, uh, but there is a catch to this, which I will mention in just a little bit. All right. There he goes again into his blade. Now we are going, boom, guys, right into his ultimate. So let's go ahead. Let's check this ultimate out. First of all, this ultimate is pretty dope. It's a nice, really, really great ultimate called God's Strength. Uh, first thing he does is gains boost in his attack speed and his attack. So physical attacks boost and physical speed boost. That's one thing because he's going to be swinging a lot faster. Kind of a catch to this, guys, is while he's in his ultimate, he can only use his swinging blade. He cannot use his pulse hammer, which is a really... That ability is actually much better than swinging uh, blade. And while he's in his ultimate, control abilities will have their effects short, you know, shortened while, he's, while it's active. And it will gradually just go away as the ultimate wears out. But now I'm going to talk about this in just a little bit because you're going to see how this acts in the campaign. It's awesome because, boom, he's just destroying everybody. But it's a little bit different. And I'll go into that in just a second. Uh, another ability that I haven't mentioned yet is because he's got six abilities. So we've only mentioned five. Is Battle Cry. Increased team's physical armor and attack speed. Uh, he hasn't used this one just yet. Because he got dragged in by Shirley, I'm pretty sure. But this ability is his fourth ability. And it's actually a really good increase in physical armor and attack speed like before. Now let's go ahead and keep talking about his ultimate just a little bit guys. Because I'm going to explain why... It kind of, uh, it kind of takes away from his potential. As you can see, he's swinging, he's killing everybody. But in the arena, everybody is not going to just stand right in front of you guys. They're going to move around a lot. And while he's in his ultimate, he can't use his pulse hammer to stun people. And he's just going to be swinging like this, like you see, he's just swinging. And uh, that's the only catch that I think would have made him a lot better. Is if he didn't only go into swinging blade, it would have been awesome. Like I said before, because uh, facing enemies that are going to be sitting right in front of you is easy for him. But once he has to deal with enemies that will jump around, it's a lot harder. AoE damage, he does a good amount of damage to everybody. Um, in my opinion, I think it would have been great if he did a lot of damage to a single target. This ability would have been sick. And there's Pulse Hammer again, uh, you know, lowering physical armor. So all in all, Celeste is a great hero, guys. I mean, I enjoy him a lot. I use him in the arena. Don't really use him a lot of other places right now. And the AoE damage is not tremendous in the arena. But all his buffs from uh, being a tank are great. I mean, uh, physical armor, physical speed, attack speed, and physical attack. So a lot of great buffs. So all in all, is a great hero, guys. I love him. All right, so my Morphir, on the other hand, is a little bit different now because I'm very, very close to getting Morphir to 6 stars. Hmm, that's interesting right there. I don't use Morphir that much in my arena teams right now, but uh, there's definitely room for him. Definitely a great mage killer. So I'm thinking about definitely purchasing something to get him. Hmm, let's debate this a little bit more. I'm gonna need 30. Let's go take a look really quickly at what I need to purchase. Actually, just that first purchase will get me him. So I'm probably gonna end up doing that, guys to get 30 more pieces and then the rest of them if you purchase the whole thing gives you another almost uh 200 well i'm gonna need 30 plus 20 probably 290 more pieces i'll have extra over halfway there to seven stars hmm so the only problem is i wish it was somebody else other than Volko. that is the only thing that i wish because my Volko is seven star that's the only catch if it was two heroes there that I didn't have, I would definitely, I'm all in on that. But, like I said, Volko is already there all the way. So we don't really need it. But it doesn't matter, guys, because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just do that first purchase right there while we're here. Alright, so the payment is in. We are all set. Let's go back and let us claim. Boom! There we go, guys. So we did that just to get our Morphir to 6 stars right now. And we are going to do some testing with him as well. Let's go ahead. Let's promote him first. 6 star. And let's go do some testing in the arena with Morphir and see what this is going to do. Alright guys, arena time now. Let's go ahead and let's check these heroes out in action here. So as you see, I got Morphir. I got Celeste. Here we go. Let's break it down. Morphir is going to jump into the backside over there. As you can see, he is in the other side in front of... 
Kara. Now, I did this on purpose. I wanted to face Kara in this uh, this battle because I want to show you guys what Morphir is all about. Uh, as soon as he jumps in, he will always jump into the enemy with the highest magic attack, guys. And as soon as he jumps in, he has a magic immunity because of his awakened ability, all right? So if you have him awakened, as soon as he uses uh, Touch of Darkness, which he jumps into the you know enemy with the highest attack, he will have a shield. I don't know what it's called, static shield, I think, but it's going to give him immunity to magic attacks, which is great because as soon as he jumps in, he will sometimes take a lot of damage. Now, as he's in there, he is uh, working on Kara little by little there, so a great mage killer, one of the best mage killers in the game. And everybody else is doing their thing. You can kind of look at everybody else, what they're doing. Celeste is kind of doing his support. And uh, let's pause this here for a second because this is why I wanted to talk to you guys about Celeste a little bit. This is the issue with him. As you can see, he, he is on this side facing Batman one-on-one. -on -one, and the majority of the enemy, well, a few of them are dead, but the majority of the enemy is in the upper, opposite side. And uh, he's swinging his sword, his giant manly sword, but he's only hitting one target. And it doesn't do as much damage as you would like it to do. That is the issue with Celeste. Is most of the time he's facing a single target and not hitting everybody at once. And um, that's kind of why I don't use them as much in my arena teams. Is because of all the craziness that happens in the arena. It's hard to kind of gauge on that. Now he goes into his ultimate right here. And the ultimate is great because obviously he's uh, uh, he gets all these bonuses. But he's not hitting everybody. So it's it, I'm not going to say it's bad. But it's not as effective as it could be. Uh, let's keep going on here. Now watch this. Boom. Ultimate for Morphir automatically dashes to Kara. The highest magic attacker on his team and does a lot of damage. She's almost dead now. Watch this, guys. Ultimate by Kara. Now, usually when Kara ultimates, it's it you're dead. Uh, no physical hero can really amass uh, take a ultimate from Kara. But we're gonna check it out and see what's up with Morphia because he jumped. He used this, this ability to jump into the opponent. He is immune to magic abilities for a certain amount of time. I mean, he's taking pretty much all these hits here, and uh, he's still alive. Now that's kind of a lucky thing, so I don't want to say that happens all the time, but that's kind of lucky because he just dashed in front of her and she used her ultimate, so it was a lucky thing. Most of the time, if he hasn't used his um, Touch of Darkness where he jumps over, he will probably be killed by Kara there. So this was a little bit of a luck on my side here, but it really doesn't matter. Everybody's still alive and uh, the game is over. That's really all it took. But I just wanted to show you guys these heroes in action what they're good at and what they are not good at all right so you can see that celeste is great at doing aoe damage to a bunch of heroes but they kind of have to be in front of them and uh Morphir is great at killing mages but he's also got to get a little bit lucky you know with his ability to uh become immune to it to the magic hero but he still has a really nice magic defense all right so don't forget that and that's pretty much it for the battle guys check out some deets and if you look at the details here, Morphir does a lot of damage. I mean, he was just working on Kara for a while there. And when he is also working on one single target, he, he hits a bunch of heroes in a small radius that are around them as well. Uh, Adeline, she's got the legendary pet, so she's a beast at all times. And uh, Mira did well. So everybody did pretty good. But as you can see, Celeste doesn't do as much damage as you would like him to. Because when you're facing a team like this... Batman, Volko, they're on the opposite side. Uh, Nightshade can go anywhere. You're not doing that much damage. All right, guys, now on to the next part. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with my Diamond Spender event because, um, you know, it's a pretty good idea to use this for to get Celeste, even if you even if you have them. Now I'm going to need a total of 250 Soul Stones to get them. Unfortunately, the only way that I can do that is to do all of these events, 1,500, I mean 15,000, which in my opinion is not really worth it that much but if we take a look at the conjuring stone hero of the day we have mechana guys i have a free pull we have mechana i got 16,000 gems i am strongly 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 considering trying to go for uh, mechana one reason is well not i already have her but i want to get her four stars uh because i'm using her in my arena team right now not all the way but she's a really good hero i mean He's a really good hero. And then we also have Alicia here, guys. Alicia, so I know that she's not... I think I only have her at 5 stars, so 
it's kind of a win-win. I get two heroes for the price of one, so that's one of my options. My only other option to use the Diamond Spender on would probably be in the Forge, guys. Try to forge one of my heroes to get some bonuses. Somebody like Adeline, who I just finished upgrading, or somebody like Mechana, who I just, you know, started their Forge and uh, get some bonuses. But what's the point of doing the Forge without really having the hero? So in my opinion, guys, I'm really, really thinking about trying to go for this four-star mechan out right now. Uh, but I'm going to leave it up to chance, guys. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the free pull. I have one free pull. I'm going to do my free pull. If what I get for my free pull is mechan soul stones, then I'm going to go for six, uh, four stars. If it's not mechan, I am not doing this event. I'm going to save my gems for a future hero that comes out. And that's it. Mechanized is fine at three stars. I'm not trying, going to try to go for more. All right. So here it is, guys. Wish me luck. And I don't even know what luck to wish me for because I'm um, very hesitant. I kind of don't want to do it. But I'm leaving it to chance, guys. Free pull. If we get Mechana, I'm going to go for four stars. If we don't get Mechana, fuck. All right. Uh, I think that's just a way of them telling me my luck fucking sucks. But... I'm going to need 100 soul stones, guys. Here it is. I said I would do it, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. There's the temple. If I can get the full card, it would be great. It would save me a lot of gems. But of course not. Damn it. My luck sucks. Damn it. That's not good. All right. So we got a total of 29 now. I'm far away, guys. That's 4,000 gems. All right. Four more. Come on. The card. Oh, my God. Oh, that stinks. That really hurts. Alright. We are at 42. Uh, if I do four more, that would be 12,000. Jesus Christ. Alright, whatever. Four more. Can I get it, please? Oh, yes. Thank God. Alright. So, that costs 12,000, guys. That's a lot. That's actually a lot less than it cost me to get him in the first place. And I am still not there yet. Are you serious? This is horrible. What a terrible idea I have made. This was a dumb ass idea, guys. It wasn't the best idea ever. How close are we? We're not even close. Oh my god. This was a terrible idea. I spent 12,000 already. And uh, I'm only at 83, which means I'm going to have to spend my last 4,000 here. And I'm going to need 17 pieces. Oh my god. Are you serious? I think I just got enough. Wow, I got one more than I needed. <sighs> well, I did it, man. I'm not too happy about it, though. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not happy at all. That was a terrible idea. Kind of stone pulls are not the best. So four pulls, and I got one card. It's fine. I'm not worried about that. But, well, at least I finished this. So, this wasn't really big on my to-do list. Because Celeste, I will not even be able to seven-star him even with all this. Oh, no, I will. I will. All right. So, two good things came out of it, guys. <laughs> I guess two good things came out of it. So let's go ahead. We're going to promote two more heroes today. Wow, this has been a great day, actually. Promote Mechano to four stars. Hmm, that's a good start right there. All right, let's check out the stat boost right here. Health boost, that's a pretty high boost. Attack, magic boost. All right. Physical armor, 5, 5.2. Okay, so we're happy with that. And then we can also now... Boost up our Celeste while we're here. Seven star, guys, and I have 80 extra soul stones. Whatever, let's go ahead, do it. Seven star Celeste here. Wow. I'm happy about that, guys. I really did not want to spend all those gems, though, to be honest. I thought I could do it with less than 10,000 gems and have 6,000 left over, but I guess not. I used all 16,000. That's terrible. But either way, it wasn't a bad loss at least if i'm gonna spend some gems i want to get something in return and this was definitely i think worth it in my opinion because i got a lot of good things out of it guys so that's pretty much it seven stars uh celeste so yeah i'm done with him fully maxed out celeste and Magna is getting up there very very close and uh very cool now i can equip at least another good thing is i can also ooh energy bonus Ooh, this goes really good with her a purple energy bonus wow Okay, I'm going to give that to her, to him right here. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to end this off here. I hope you enjoy this. And I will catch you guys on another Soul Hunters video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.